Well, hey folks, welcome again to the Morse Summer 2020 Adventures, day 68. It's September the 1st, 2020, and we had <laughs> we had a good trip. It was a long trip, um, but it was a good trip. Uh, it was at, uh, maybe 20, 30 miles out of uh, Billings this morning, and uh, the GPS had us take uh, you know the exit, so we did uh, for uh, for. Uh, Highway U.S. Highway uh, 212, and um, you know maybe a uh, quarter of a mile, half a mile at the most. There's Little Bighorn Battlefield and and, and uh, National Cemetery, and I mean National VA Cemetery. Uh, it's full. Okay. Now uh, I think it was. Uh, I don't remember the date. I read it, uh, but I don't remember what the date was that it, it closed. Uh, you know, not taking any more in. But uh, there's people everywhere from well, you know, the Battle of Little Bighorn. Uh, through uh, the Vietnam War have been interned there at the National Cemetery so uh, you know that was pretty neat I didn't know I didn't know the cemetery existed even um, but then for some reason I, I, I don't know why um, the GPS had to stay on 212 I'm glad it did uh, in some ways I mean it was windy and I'm so so thankful that I've got that suspension upgrade otherwise um, well, we would probably just now be getting here, okay? And we've been here. Well, we've been here for at least at least three hours, uh, but uh, we'd probably still be on the road fighting the wind. Uh, it's a massive crosswind, uh, you know. And I mean, it it was uh, moving some semi, you know, trucks and trailers, you know. So, you know, it wasn't just uh, you know our 31 footer that was being affected, but uh, the steering. I mean, the, it was great, you know. I mean. Yeah, I had to put a little in for, you know, effort into it, uh, you know, but but that's okay. Um, you know, it wasn't it wasn't like it was if I didn't have the upgrade. That's for sure. And uh, but <clears throat> we got to go in through uh, the Crow Reservation and the Northern Cheyenne Reservation. Um, we stopped. Uh, well, of course, we stopped there at Little Bighorn for probably an hour, uh, and then we stopped in Broadus uh, at the uh, city park. I had a big enough area there that we could turn around and so I pulled in and turned around so all I had to do was head straight back out and uh, you know Chrissy fixed us some lunch right there at the park so you know that was kind of neat I mean that's why you got an RV right so you can do those sort of things and I have to stop at uh, a fast food joint or a cafe or whatever you know so we had uh, had lunch right there in the RV on the side of the you know in the park and it was nice um, and then we had but it, it brought us back to I-90 East you know which is what we were on to begin with. I have no idea other than maybe it was, you know, God's, uh, you know, blessing to me because uh, we got to see some, well, we got to see some area of, of Montana that we probably would not have seen as well as uh, Wyoming, all right? Because uh, 212 had dropped into the, uh, a little bit to the northern corner, uh, northeastern corner of Wyoming and then back into uh, uh, South Dakota which is where we are now, folks. Um, we are in Rapid City, uh, South Dakota. We are at the uh, Rushmore Shadow RV Park and Resort. Uh, it's a good Sam's Park. It's also a coast-to-coast -coast member uh, park, which we are members of the, that association through uh, Travel Resorts of America. You know, coast-to-coast -coast is the big umbrella. And this is one of their, their parks. Um, six seven months ago you know when we did this trip uh planning it out uh it was beyond my 90-day window so uh you know i went ahead and made reservations you know on my own here <coughs> and then when i called coast to coast uh this place is already booked up uh, i mean coast to coast couldn't even get reservations in here okay so you know having said that um I'm glad I made the reservations. I'm going to check tomorrow to see if I can't switch it over to the coast-to-coast -coast rate, which is free for me, all right, because uh, of the dues we pay. But uh, if not, then, well, you know, it is what it is. But we're here, and we're going to be here for four nights. Um, the agenda, the plan, whether it comes to fruition or not, uh, we're going to do Custer State Park, you know, for the uh, the buffalo and the wild burrows, you know, and, and whatnot. Um, we are all definitely going to do Rushmore and Crazy Horse Monument. 
Uh, we're going to do Badlands. All right. So, you know, we're going to stay here and use this as a hub. Uh, of course, there's a, an air base just north of here. So if we need to go in there for the commissary or whatever, we can do that, the exchange. Um, going to go try to go over to Wall Drug and, and to Deadwood, you know. Uh, we drove through Sturgis, okay, on the freeway, you know, on the interstate. Um, I would like to know where the rally was so I could say I've been there, you know, without the bike, but I've been there. But, uh, you know, folks, it was just, and, and, and I tell you, we, uh, we've got some, some great pictures of, uh, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, antelope. Okay, lots of antelope. All right. Uh, so, you know, having said that, I'm going to post some to my friends back home. Uh, Richie, you got a picture coming. Pastor Spear, you got a picture coming. Okay. I mean, uh, you know, these antelope were, you know, they were wild. They, they weren't, uh, uh, they were not, not afraid of you. Okay. They were, <laughs> when we stopped, <clears throat> when I stopped the RV, to, you know, to get a picture without being in motion and jumping up and down because yeah, the road was rough. Um, uh, they they didn't stick around very long. Okay, they they moved, so they're they're not used to human beings, you know. But it was a, a good good trip, uh, you know. Again, it it opened my eyes again to uh, you know how good I have it. You know, Chrissy and I we've uh, been very fortunate. Uh, you know, you can say what you want to about you know the different uh, things that that uh, the Native Americans have, and rightfully so. But they're still in poverty, okay. Um, you know the the drug and alcohol uh, 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 rate uh, among the Native Americans is astronomical, all right. Um, you know, and I'm not saying that you know that's why they're in poverty. I'm just saying that uh, you know living in that harsh country, because I mean, you know this this place here, it closes in 45 days for the winter, all right. And uh, the way the wind was blowing up there in Montana as we were coming through, and the, um, I remember years ago, uh, you know, um, I had interviewed for a job, so we're talking uh, in 2000, all right? I had interviewed for a job up in uh, Fraser, Montana, which is in the northeast corner. And uh, the superintendent uh, slash principal, he's someone that, you know, interviewed me. And it actually was my job. I, I do say, okay, when I, when I move in. Um, but uh, he told me, he says, Jerry, he says, let me tell you now. He says, there's only one thing that stops the wind from blowing 365 days a year here. Only one thing. I said, well, what's that? He says, the bob wire. You get, you get it? All right. It blows and there ain't nothing to stop it. Okay, um, I'm glad I did not take that job. Okay, for many reasons, um, but it was up there on the Peck uh, Indian Reservation. I'd have been a basketball coach and having to drive an activity bus hundreds of miles to go to a game. Okay, um, in the snow, in the wind, the ice. Uh, no. Okay, I did that growing up, and I have done it as an adult. Okay, not a bus, but you know, the snow and ice. And so, uh, you know, I'm glad I didn't, but you know, the area is just beautiful. I mean, granted, you know, this is the first of September we're coming through and you know, the trees hasn't turned yet and all that, but it, oh man, the ponderosa pines and everything. We came through some burn areas. I don't know when the fire was. I'm gonna have to check it up, check it out uh, after we get off here, you know, uh, Bing it and whatnot, Google it, whatever, um, to find out when the fire was cause it, uh, it was recent. I mean, recent within like maybe the last four or five years. Um, but uh, and then of course we came to some areas where they were doing some control burn in the uh, in the fields, you know. And I mean, they have got massive, massive alfalfa fields. And uh, I must have saw probably 150 to 200 beehives scattered all out along the road, you know, different areas. Not scattered, but I mean placed, you know you know, different areas, um, you know, to, to help uh, pollinate the, the alfalfa as it's growing and, and blooming. But uh, it was just a good good trip. It really was. It really was a good trip. And, uh, you know, it's good to see, see what was out there. Uh, you know, uh, the little bighorn, 
um, solemn, <clears throat> solemn ground, you know, hallowed ground, if you will. Uh, and and having been a history buff and having followed that, uh, and also, you know, battle tactics in the Marine Corps, you know, studied, you know, what what mistakes did he make, you know, what did you know, Chrissy Horse and and the other chiefs that were involved in the attack. Sitting Bull did not, okay? Sitting Bull did not attack. All right? He was not involved in the attack on, on, on Custer. Okay, may have been before, but not a little bighorn. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, so it's, you know, as a history buff and, and, and the military, you know, it, it that was appeasing to me. Um, but, you know, um, you know, it's, uh, and seeing pictures and whatnot doesn't, doesn't do it justice. Just like uh, I was saying you know, the other day about, you know, Yellowstone. It, pictures on TV, it doesn't do it justice. I show our, our neighbor here tonight, uh, you know, a picture of the uh, the lower falls, and he says, "Is that a painting?" I says, "No." I says, "That's that was that's a picture taken with that camera." You know, in other words, my phone. And uh, I mean, it's just just beautiful, just beautiful. So, you know, and speaking of beautiful, you know, hey, <coughs> you know, some some beautiful word for today. Okay, it's James three. 13. Who is wise and understanding among you? Let him show by good conduct that his works are done in meekness of wisdom. All right. Who is wise and understanding among you? Let him show good conduct that is his works are done in meekness of William. Wisdom. And then short the, the, the short version then, okay. Who is wise and understanding among you? All right. And that's James 3.13. You know, um, you know, let him show good conduct that his works are done in meekness of William, of wisdom. You know, uh, not being braggadocious, seeing what needs to be done and doing it because God's called you to do it. Doing it because it's the right thing to do. Do it because it's the Christian thing to do. Do it because it's the good human thing to do. Okay? And folks, you know, some of you may be a little upset, okay? But, you know, I don't really care the color of your skin. I don't care your political affiliation. I don't care about your sexual orientation, okay? My job as a Christian is to love you the way Christ loved me before I became a Christian. When I was yet a sinner, Christ died for me. When you are yet a sinner, Christ died for you. Some of you are already Christians. Some of you all may be working there, okay? It's not my job to continue, condemn you. It's not my job to ridicule you or to get in dis, in, into arguments and, and ugly discussions and, and be ugly uh, about all the other stuff, you know? If you cannot accept me the way I am and the way I try to love you, okay, then that's fine. Okay, you don't have to accept me, but I will accept you, even in your hatred towards me. All right, I will not condemn you. I will pray for you, and I'll let God work on you, so God can get you where He can get you, so He got you. All right, let Him show good conduct that His works are done in meekness of Williams, of wisdom. You know, I ain't gonna be boastful. I ain't gonna be in your face about nothing. Okay, because that's not my job. You know. Christ told me, told you to love one another as yourself, okay? To love you as I, Christ says, to love him, your enemy, as I have loved you when you were yet a sinner, okay? Hey, it's already been 14 minutes on this TV, on this video. Y'all be blessed. We are in, in, in southwest South Dakota, uh, outside, well, actually, we're south of, of Rapid City, at the uh, Rushmore Shadows RV Resort. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow with some good video, some good pictures, and and some reports. I don't know if we're, I don't know if we're going to the park tomorrow. If we're going to the Badlands tomorrow. If we're going to Rushmore tomorrow. But we're going to do one of those three things the next three days. God bless you. Bye bye.